Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Mungli here. So this question is about uh, detoxification process. So you can uh, pause this video and read the question and also read the choices and try to answer this question by yourself. Now let's get into the details of the question. So a five year old child uh, brought to uh, emergency department in a semi-conscious uh, state where there is, I see um, the child had uh, increased respiratory rate and uh, metabolic acidosis. So now the main thing that you need to look for here is uh, uh, this particular child has taken Tylenol, multiple Tylenol which is uh, acetaminophen tablet. So the question is uh, which one of the following molecules is most likely used by the liver to eliminate Tylenol from his body. So it's a detoxification thing. And as you know liver is the major organ which conducts the detoxification process and especially the smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, in the liver is the one where uh, the detoxification process is going on. Let me quickly uh, brief you out about detoxification process. I have a video on detoxification link the, for that video it is there in the description below especially at uh, 6 minutes 10 seconds of that particular video a detoxification uh, process starts. So make sure you start from there if you really don't want to uh, want other uh, content in the video you can directly jump into detoxification process in that video at 6 minutes 10 seconds anyway so there are two phases in the detoxification process phase 1 and phase 2 in phase 1 detoxification hydroxylation is the most common type hydroxylation which is done by cytochrome p450 enzymes in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum once the uh, chemical or a drug is hydroxylated so it will be further undergoing phase 2 detoxification reaction. In phase 2 detoxification reaction there can be different types of addition of molecules to this particular uh, hydroxylated uh, molecule coming from the endoplasmic reticulum and some of them are sulfation, methylation and uh, glucuronidation. So this kind of uh, molecules which are uh, basically carrying uh, negative or positive charges are added to a molecule and make them hydrophilic. It's all about making a drug more hydrophilic so that it can be eliminated from the kidney after glomerular filtration. So the way to excrete all these chemicals is the urine. So anything that has to get into the urine, it has to be in hydroxylated form. So that is why we have phase 1 detoxification where uh, hydroxyl group is added and in phase 2 detoxification uh, process where the uh, negative charges uh, usually are added to a molecule. So now the coming to the question. So in phase 2 reaction or the phase 1 reaction, in phase 1 is hydroxylation process, phase 2 we have glucuronidation process or sulfation process. Let us look at the choices. Option A glycogen. So glycogen is not uh, used in detoxification process. Glycogen is stored in the liver. Uh, it is a reserve energy for uh, uh, for the skeletal muscle because it is stored in the skeletal muscle. It is uh, glucose uh, storage for the blood glucose uh, under fasting condition which is stored in the liver. So that is not an answer. Glycine. Glycine is an hydrophobic amino acid. So even if you add glycine, so you are not going to make this molecule eliminated from the body. So that is not an answer. Palmitate is a hydro, basically it is a relatively hydrophobic amino acid. So it means, uh, I am sorry, uh, palmitate is a relatively uh, hydrophobic fatty acid. So you cannot add fatty acid to a molecule to eliminate it out of the body. Coming to the glucuronate, see this glucuronate, glucuronate has got a negative charge, it is the derivative of glucose in fact. So glucuronate it is added to a molecule in the form of UDP glucuronate, uh, only glucuronate is added, UDP is released. Once you add glucuronate to a molecule which has got hydroxyl group, so you are basically increasing the polarity of that molecule making it hydrophilic so that it can be filtered by the glomerulus and appearing in the urine. So that's, uh, that seems to make an answer here. And coming to the option E, glycerol, glycerol again, uh, it is, all, it is uh, of course it is a water soluble uh, molecule but it is not used in detoxification process. Overall, if you rule out all these choices, so we are going to come to this option D seems to 
uh, be the correct choice among all the available choices. So this is all about uh, detoxification, uh, quick review and the question on detoxification. I hope this video has helped you in understanding uh, the mechanism and also make sure uh, to take a look at detoxification process in detail just in case if you want to brush your detoxification um, uh, knowledge or you just want to revise that you, uh, you are most welcome to take a look at that video which is appearing right now at the end of this particular video so thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video